My boy! Look what you've done to my boy! Sriracha is out of stock. Yeah, yeah. We are oh. here to discuss hot sauce. Yes, we are here to discuss hot sauce. But before you panic, some of you may already know that sriracha is just a type of hot sauce. Most people know the hu hui fong. I'm terrible at pronouncing. Uh, I'd say hui fong. The rooster. Most people are familiar with the rooster, but this is not sriracha in and of itself. It is a brand of sriracha. Some of you may already have heard. They are experiencing pepper production shortages due to uh, nature and weather uh, events. And they will not be producing more until September. Cut to image of old man yelling at cloud. Yes, and so you go out, yell at your clouds, because if you are a big fan of the Hoi Fong brand, the rooster brand of Sriracha, you probably are not going to be able to find it for a while. There are some crop, essentially crop failures with the peppers um, at their, uh, their partner facility that grows the peppers, and they're just not going to have enough to produce enough hot sauces. So they're uh, the Sriracha and the Sambal Oblek. Oblek. Uh... Sambal Oblek? Yes. Oh no. One of my uh, former co-workers just told me about a while ago and I started using and that stuff's really good. It's this nice chili pepper paste. Still has the seeds in it so it's pretty much all pepper. That makes me sad. Um, so I'm actually not a huge sriracha fan, but it it, it is a, a certain blend of peppers. I, I know that the big thing is it's best to get red jalapenos and red serranos, um, which can be hard if you're trying to make your own hot sauce because in most grocery stores, the jalapenos, and if you can even find serranos, are picked and sold green. Uh, so talk to your local pepper farmer at a farmer's market. Um, if you want to try to make your own, there are a lot of recipes out there. Um, it's a quick ferment. You're only really fermenting, I think, about a week if you want to try to make your own fermented hot sauce. So it, it's, it's my understanding it's great for beginners. So if you're not into trying to make your own or you can't find the peppers to make your own, we have dug through the interwebs and found uh, four small business brands of sriracha that you can try instead. Okay, so we're going to be trying today Kitchen Gardens Farm Sriracha. It is an organic, naturally fermented chili sauce. Bushel and Peck's Better Sriracha. Classic, simple, and slightly sweet hot sauce. We have Fat Cat brand Siamese Sriracha. It's perfectly good. Oh, cute kitty who also kind of looks like a Secret Service agent. <laughs> Jojo Sriracha. Wild fermented chili sauce. This is the OG and it has the Good Foods Award. We also, as an extra bonus, JoJo's Sexy, which is an extra hot version of their Sriracha. All right, we're gonna start with the one that's out of stock. I happened to be in a Walgreens and thought this could be something that would be in that one like pantry yeah. foods aisle. Sure enough, there was Sriracha. So if you're still on the hunt, cry out drugstores. Yeah, definitely places you wouldn't think of as a standard grocer. Are you typically a fan of sriracha? I like sriracha, yeah. It's not my go-to. Like this is, I think the first bottle of sriracha, the, the first yeah. bottles of sriracha I've ever um, gotten. And at Asian restaurants, I'm not likely to put it in, you know, ramen or pho or anything like no. that. I mean, um, usually, you know, like Thai restaurants or something like that, they've got the chili paste, uh, which is more akin to the sambal olek. But I still like sriracha. That classic smell to it. <clears throat> a little bit of sweetness, definitely heat. You know, that smell like I was talking about, you know, it's not like it's a bad smell or anything. It's just, you know, it's signature aroma. Yeah, and I'm reminded why I'm not a fan. I don't know, I feel like the heat just hits me too fast. I've always noticed that Sriracha seems to hit a little bit harder, a little bit hotter than other things that are generally in the consumer category. All right, moving on. We're gonna start with Kitchen Garden Farm. And so they take on the rooster persona as well. Oh, that's uh, a dragon. With a rooster head, thank you very much. <laughs> like, I know that I saw a rooster. Okay, this is a cockatrice. 
Oh, what's a cockatrice? Oh, it's an enemy that you see in, uh, you know, RPGs that, you know, is kind of like a chicken, except that it turns you to stone. I hope this doesn't turn me to stone. No, let's not turn to stone. So noticing that one is substantially more liquidy. Like, sriracha has a very viscous... Organic peppers grown on our farm. All right. All right. Different aroma. Hmm. Definitely a different pepper flavor to it. I, there's almost a bit of like, like apple. Like I, I'm getting Yeah, like... there's a slight bit of fruitiness to it, but it's not as sweet as regular sriracha. It's not quite bitter in a way. It almost reminds me of a tangy spaghetti sauce, maybe? A little, I was thinking that too. It almost has like an Italian quality to it. I, I, I feel like I get the garlic a little bit more. Yeah. Organic peppers, organic cane sugar. Maybe it's the cane sugar. Okay, moving on, um, Bishol and Pex. Yeah, better sriracha. We shall see. <laughs> this one's definitely a little more runny. Oh geez, yeah, it's yeah. almost runnier than the last one. I'd say similar in scent to the uh, one that we just tried. I keep forgetting to give it a smell. I'm just like, ooh, hot sauce. Yay. Still running around the same heat level. God, if you didn't tell me this was a sriracha sauce, I would almost say it is a kind of a mix between a spicy ketchup and barbecue sauce. I'm wondering if there's celery seed in that. I'm getting, like, my brain is going to Bloody Mary. Hmm. No, no celery seed. I'm just crazy. Fres so they use Fresno peppers with the jalapeno. Okay. And they use honey with the cane sugar. I wonder if it's the Fresno peppers. Like, I was yeah. thinking smoky barbecue-ness also. Yeah. This would be a phenomenal barbecue sauce. Wings? I'm going to put this on wings. Uh, I want some chopped pork. Ooh, yeah, like a really good yeah. barbecue brisket. Yeah, it's definitely a good product. You know, I might like this more on ramen, especially with the, the you know, the chashu pork, the pork yeah. belly. Fact oh. that. And we're going, whoa. Well, that's Apparently, Ronnie. Um, of course, it's in the barbecue sauce bottle. So yeah. if you like, <laughs> if you want to just get it out of the bottle and onto your plate, this, this is the way to go. Similar scent. It's still somewhat strayed from the original as far as scent. Hmm. Similar heat level. Almost a little more salty. I'm trying to place what that flavor reminds me of. I think to me this is more like the Bloody Mary mix. Yeah, more so than uh, the one that you thought. The initial flavor on this one, I think really does remind me of, I want to say it's like, maybe McDonald's and their uh, little sriracha dipping sauce packet. McDonald's has a sriracha packet? I think it's McDonald's. No, no, I, I think it's Chick-fil-A. Their uh, sriracha. Not nearly as sweet as the Hui Fong, but it's sweeter than I think the other two so far. It's somehow still tangy. Yeah. Like, when I came up with the idea for this video, I I wasn't expecting to have my mind open to sriracha so much, but there's quite a bit of variation. This is, this is interesting. All right, so this is the OG, and it does have, on the side of it, Heart Jojo. This one's actually a little chunky. There's some kind of granule in there. It's not like pepper chunky, it's... Yeah, like they left that? the seasoning whole. Chili peppers, vinegar, garlic, sea salt, organic coconut palm sugar. This is more... Maybe that's the pepper seeds? I mean, it, it's... I mean, I see chunks of pepper in there for sure. Yeah, I, I was almost getting like maybe... Maybe it's the garlic? It's weird to say this for a fermented and then cooked can sauce. It feels very fresh. Mm -hmm. Like... I, this is like garden party, nice late spring day. Yeah, that's that's definitely garlic granules I'm getting. Oh, I really get the garlic. Yeah. I was just going back to the uh, 
the better sriracha. I want to come back to the original here. Oh, I just got some on my nose trying to smell it. Nice. The original sriracha is very thick, very smooth, very uniform. Definitely the, uh, the JoJo's OG. That interesting mouthfeel, I think, is kind of what really gets me about it. Uh, just the fact that it's a little bit different. But again, I'm not really sure if I would really call any of these, you know, phenomenal alternatives. Now, you're speaking from a place of someone who does yeah. like this. Speaking from as someone who, who doesn't. Um, I think I like the smell better, but then I tasted them just, I'm, I personally am underwhelmed. I've enjoyed the rest of these sauces more out of the five. I like this one the most, but I would say, I think it tastes the least like yeah. Sriracha's. I really love the better Sriracha, but as the concept of a hot barbecue sauce. To me, that is an absolute phenomenal use of it. Right, I really want to get into this really hot one. Okay, before we do that. No! <laughs> which one do you think would be the best substitute for someone who's addicted to this and can't find it? The best substitute... God. So if I had to say direct... Pardon the reach. The ladle has been soiled. <laughs> the closest flavor match. To me, none of them are close. They're all good, but there's just something and just enough that they're all different. Now, which one do you like the most? Just as a hot sauce. As a hot sauce, hands down, again, the better sriracha. Uh, it just really evokes memories of when I was working in a small town in North Carolina going to a little hole-in-the-wall barbecue shop. I don't know, it's kind of nostalgic almost. I think for me, it's almost a tie between the Kitchen Garden and the JoJo's. Mm -hmm. I think the JoJo's texture-wise has more going on. It's just yeah. more interesting. And the Kitchen Garden, it's very, it's, it's just, this is very fresh. This is very, like, bright. You know, like my thoughts of like apple orchards and this is, and it's a little more complex, I mm -hmm. think, than the, than the main brand. Mm. I actually like regular sriracha the, the least. Um, so I'm probably not going to, this will be the first and last bottle I probably buy of this. Sorry if it's your favorite, but I think I'd pick any of these four over, over this. Rip hui fong. <laughs> But to each their own, right? All right, all right, all right. Hot, hot time. Hot, hot time. My favorite time. This one texturally already looks like it's not going to be as uh, chunky, I guess, as their other, their OG sauce. Slightly different smell. Yeah. This definitely has uh, more of a fermented smell to me. Their scorpion peppers are not... Scorpion or Reaper or Ghost Scorpions, I taste that distinct scorpion pungentness. Mm -hmm. Do you? I taste it, and I love it. <laughs> I love that pepper, uh, that flavor profile of it. Anything that has lineage with scorpion, there's that just hard to explain distinct pungent quality to it. I personally do not like it. So as soon as I, I taste it, I, I know it's in there. The flavor's there. I'm waiting for the heat level. <coughs> hot sauce down the wrong pipe. <coughs> it's not that hot. It just went straight to the back of my throat. I'd say it ramps. It's a slow ramp, but it doesn't have a very high peak. It is definitely a little bit hotter than the rest of these. I like it. The other thing is, I think I really like this. Yeah. But I. I don't know. I'm an enigma. I don't like scorpion peppers. I taste scorpion, but I like this one. I guess if I wanted more of the Hui Fung brand, I could have just licked my ladle. No, I just did the same thing you did. I just got it on my nose. <laughs> now <Nah>, I'm good. <laughs> These are the dangers we go through for you. Yeah, so the sexy, somewhat sweet, not quite Hui Fung sweet, but probably the sweetest out of, out of all of them, I think. 
And not crazy hot either. Yeah. Not crazy Hotter, hot. But it's not, you're not going to die. All right. Any last thoughts on this Sriracha Whirlwind? This has been fun just consuming hot sauce on mass. Um, <laughs> you know, especially like because it's not terribly hot. You know, you get to do a lot of it without going crazy. Uh, that being said, again, better Sriracha. Phenomenal as a barbecue sauce. I think I will try that at some point. But if you're looking for a direct replacement to Hui Fong, we're still on the search, in my opinion. But these are all really good. And if you're a big Sriracha fan, I definitely encourage you to give them a try. Links will be in the description. These were not sent to us. They were not sponsors. We bought them all ourselves and to give them a try. And uh, yeah. If you give one a try, let us know how it is in the comments. Or if there's a Sriracha brand out there that you really like instead of mm -hmm. the main name brand, drop it in the comments. Let the rest of the viewers know what to look for until uh, their pepper production comes back. All right. Okay. Thank you for joining us on this spicy adventure and the Sriracha variety tour. See you next time. Why?